Welcome back, fellow milk drinkers, to the very first Merry Monday Milk Review. My name is Jacob, and today, during this festive season, I'm going to be looking at eggnog, a drink that I've never tried before. Now, this typically is a bit of an American tradition, so as an Australian, I've never even thought to try it. I've always seen it, and like, as far as I know, it's like sweetened egg or something. I don't know, but I've never had it before and I'm really keen to try it. All interesting and weird drinks, especially the milk drinks, I always want to try, so I've always looked at this with a questioning eye. Today's episode is going to be done in two parts. You may have already noticed the two glasses side by side. In the very first bit, I'm going to just try straight eggnog and see what it's like. And for the second half, I'm going to try a recipe that's recommended on the package. I'll put that recipe on screen if you're interested. I'm not going to be filming making it because it's pretty straightforward. But with all my rambling out of the way, let's get straight into eggnog, shall we? Now, this comes in a packaged carton, so I assume you have to shake them. It doesn't really explicitly say anywhere, but I feel like that's good measure. Opening it up, of course, I look at the wrong side first. The carton is open. Let's go for a quick sniff. Ooh, it smells like a custard tart. I can definitely smell in there uh, maybe a hint of cinnamon. I think I'm smelling cinnamon in there. I'm not exactly sh sure if cinnamon is in eggnog. Let's give it another sniff. Yeah, oh, it, it's honestly exactly like a custard tart. If this is anything like a custard tart, I know I'm really gonna like it. So let's pour it into a glass now, shall we? Now you might be able to see it's a pretty thick liquid, but it's actually still quite watery. I, I, I didn't expect it to have such a liquid state. Let's get into the sniff from the glass. And again, exactly like a custard tart. This time I find that the cinnamon feels a bit fainter and I'm getting way more of that custard scent, but let's get straight into the drink now, shall we? Damn, okay. I did not expect to like this that much. It tastes exactly like the custard tarts without the pastry. I like custard tarts. I, I didn't actually know eggnog was custard tarts. This is a revelation for me. I'm gonna have to get eggnog more often. That's a good drink. I mean, I, I understand why you Americans are all about this and maybe Canadians, I don't know your traditions, I'm Australian. It's definitely not a very thick drink. It, it's got quite a standard consistency of a flavored milk that you would come to expect. Maybe I'd probably align it with an oak where it's just got that certain level of thickness. It's not as thick as one of the I forget their name, but I think they're something creamery. I'll put a picture up there just so you know what I'm talking about. It's not as thick as one of those. It's way thicker than a breaker. Breakers are usually quite thin. In terms of flavor, I think I gotta give it an eight to potentially a nine. I'm probably gonna settle on an 8.5. This is really good, but don't bother with it unless you like custard tarts. If you like a custard tart, you're gonna love this. That brings a close to part one. I'll see you soon with the next drink in glass. And we are back, fellow milk drinkers, with a custom summer eggnog. It's supposed to put a little bit of nutmeg on top. I just can't really be bothered. And I'm just gonna get straight into this. There's actually a nice little bit of froth on top or foam. I don't know what you would call that. Maybe foam is a, froth just is not an appealing word. Foam. It still very much smells like the first one. It's just a custard tart. Ooh, oh my goodness. That is so tasty. It, it brings out, I believe it would be the Baileys, just brings out that cinnamon flavor so much more. It's so creamy and still sweet. This is delicious. Those at home who have never tried eggnog, go out and try this. This stuff rocks. You, you can taste the Baileys in there. It's the very slightest hint of alcohol and it's nothing that's going to disturb you. And look, if you're downing enough of this to become inebriated, <laughs> props to you. I urge you, fellow milk drinkers, go out and try eggnog if you can. Why don't we, why don't we drink more of this? I, 
I, I actually really like it. The mixture of Baileys with eggnog and ice cream gives it a little bit extra thickness, which makes it so much creamier, so much nicer, but I'm just not the biggest fan of the integration of alcohol. Whilst it's very tasty and I have nothing against the way it tastes, I'm just not big into alcohol. So I think this one's going to sit at an 8.5 out of 10. Try either or try both. I recommend you trying at least one of them, if not both. Whilst I easily finish this glass and I'm egging to go out and finish off the rest that I blended up, that about wraps us up for this week's episode of the Monday Milk Review. If you're unfamiliar with the Monday Milk Review, this is a weekly series where I review a new or weird flavored milk every Monday. If you've enjoyed today's video, why don't you like the video? And if you wanna keep up to date with everything I'm trying, why don't you subscribe? We've almost hit 500, which is absolutely bonkers. What a way to top the year. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week in the Monday Milk Review. Merry Christmas, everyone.